What's going on guys, Ozzy here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, we have the 87 overall at Bamiyang. The guy that got done, that got done dirty by EA. He went down in overall. He had one of the best seasons he's ever had for Arsenal. And you're telling me he went down in overall. Something that I will never understand. But look at the state of this card. People are saying this card right here is the best striker in the whole of the Premier League. So I want to see. I want to see if this guy can be our first 10 out of 10, which is very unlikely because he's not a 5-star, five 5-star five player. But we'll see how it goes. 93 pace, 81 dribbling, 86 shooting, 75 passing with 69 physical as well. The only thing I'll love to upgrade there, definitely those dribbling stats. Now, 6 foot 2 Abamyang. I believe the only other 6 foot 2 striker that I did a review on was Cantona. And we all know how overpowered that Cantona was. Unbelievable player. The guy scored goals left, right and centre. The guy was amazing on the ball. He had the physicals, the pace, the shooting. You really couldn't go wrong with that card. Now, do I feel like Aubameyang would compare to Cantona? No. Let's, let's not go that far because Cantona does have the 5-star skill moves as well. Now, the high, high work rates is decent in the striker position i do prefer high medium myself but it just pretty much means i will have to put stay forward on this guy he has got four star skill moves and he has got a four star weak foot four star weak foot not the biggest fan of this year i 100 do prefer five star weak foot but four star you know it's something we are going to are going to have to deal with it's not the end of the world he's still going to be able to shoot with it now the four star skill moves the lack of keta the berber spin all of that skill moves should be pretty good on him he is on a finisher chem style he is on 10 chem 91 acceleration with 94 sprint speed so when it comes down to pace let's just say he's pretty fast He's going to be doing those fake shots around the corners. He's going to be outpacing majority of the centre-backs in the Premier League. And I really doubt anyone's going to catch him. Shooting aspect. 98 attacking positioning. 99 finishing. 92 shot power. Both shooting traits. It, like what? What am I seeing? Outside foot shot trait. Finesse shot trait. Chip shot trait used to be a uh, user. But now it's AI for some reason. And they have... Amazing shooting stats. Abamyang, you better finish everything. That's all I'm going to say. Now, passing wise, he has got pretty decent passing, but it's nothing to be excited about. He's got the tick attacker play, probably the one twos, but no overtop through balls with this guy. But this is where it gets interesting. With the finisher chem style, you get 87 agility, 95 dribbling, 88 composure, 82 ball control, 88 reactions. And like 73 balance. But we're not going to talk about that, okay? Balance this year, I don't really see it come to play too often. So we're going to... The main things we are going to look at is the agility and the dribbling. Those two alone look absolutely insane on a player that is six foot two with pace, with shooting. Like, <laughs> I don't want to over-exaggerate anything right now. Because we're going to see him in game. And hopefully he does play like his stats. Yeah, he's got 80 stamina, 74 strength, 75 jumping. With the 43 aggression as well. Now today I have linked him up with Rodrigo. I've also got like players like Daniel James and Bergwijn in this team. Abamyang will be playing in a 4-4-2. As you clearly can see right now. But I do low-key want to try him in a lone striker role. So I will play him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get into the games. Free ball to Aubameyang. Come on, Aubameyang, use that pace. You know you're faster than him. You know you can get in front of him. Oh, ref, where's the foul there, by the way? Come on, keep going. Keep going. Shield him off there. Go for that quick turn. Ball roll. Oh, my God, look at that dribbling. Can I get a finish? Rodrigo. Nah, Rodrigo. Come on. Come on now. Come on, you need to be doing better. I know it's a standing shot, and I probably should have took a touch forward. But Aubameyang has just done all that. So, he can do that. Pass Aubameyang here. Fake shot. Gonna cut to the outside still. Beautiful touch. Unbelievable touch. You need that touch. If you do not get that touch, you will not score this goal. It's just simple as that. Probably like an AI block will happen. But what a finish straight to the far corner. So we have got a corner here. Abamyang being six foot two. We have to try out ahead of us. Come on now. Let's see if we can actually win this one. He has won it. Oh my if that went in from that tight angle, I would... Oh, it's offside either way. But I feel like that's more of my fault because my aiming when it comes down to headers... Yeah, let's just say it's absolutely awful. Go on, Aubameyang. Use that pace. Fake shot around the corner. 
get it going. Oh, come on now. It's too easy. The finesse shot coming into play with the finesse shot trait. And it is going to be a perfect finish into that far corner. That right there is a perfect example of how overpowered pace is this year. Pass to Bamiang. Going to pass all the way down. And it is going to be a perfect pass. I'm kind of surprised he got that pass off, to be fair. Fake shot. Just going to wait. I'm going to try to hit back stick here. But Hui Patrizzo, perfectly positioned. Pass down to Aubameyang. I'm just going to run in a straight line. He's not going to expect it. Fake shot around a corner. Ball roll. R1 dribbling or RB dribbling. No, I tried to send him, but Tomori did well. 1-2. Get it going. Aubameyang. Going to outpace him. Going to go for that first time across goal finish. And Patricio once again doing absolutely amazing in goal. Aubameyang outpacing Tomori like there's no tomorrow, but that's expected. Pass to Aubameyang. Fake shot. Fake shot once again. Go for that near post finish and using the outside foot shot trait to its full potential. And we are going to get another goal with him. Beautiful positioning, by the way. I noticed he made a run at first, but he actually went straight to the edge of the box because he knew where I wanted him. Ball roll. Give it to Bamiang. Fake shot. I like I'm going to turn. Then actually fake shot and go in between them. No. No, no, no. I've done everything perfect. Abamyang's dribbling, I'm telling you right now, seems so, so good with the skill moves. But the fact that we couldn't get that goal there is insanely disappointing. Abamyang. Just going to click Y ball. Beautiful pass. Beautiful touch. Fake shot. Go around the keeper. Bye bye. Bye bye, keeps. Where are you going this time? You made plenty, and I mean plenty of saves this game. But once you bring out the keeper, this year, it's pretty much game over. RBA all the way over to Abamyang. Abamyang in wide open space. I definitely did not feel like he deserved this space because those two centre backs, I have no idea what they are doing. Because if you give Abamyang this kind of space, he is going to punish you. But can we take a moment to realise how good that finish was? Weaker foot, tight angle. He's done everything perfect and he manages to get the goal. So we have a free kick here and why not at the end of the day? Let's try a shot with him. I feel like this guy's going to move the keeper. No, he's not. Okay, let's actually have a decent shot. Going to curve it a little bit. Going to green time it. It is going to be an outside foot shot. And I tell you what. I honestly thought for a second it was hitting top bins. Use that pace. Use that pace. And this is the one thing you're always going to see. As soon as someone has a Bamiyang, you already know what's going to happen. The person's going to run in a straight line because his pace is unbelievable. But look at his dribbling. I really do want to talk about his dribbling because look at this. Like, look at the state of that. The fact that a six foot two player can do that kind of dribbling is unbelievable. Fake shot. Going to turn all the way up. Ball roll. Go on to his stronger foot because I do not trust that weaker foot. That four-star weak foot, yes, you can shoot with it. But if you have the opportunity to go on to his stronger foot and turn two people at the same time, you're always going to do it. Good touch. Use that strength. Nice strength as well. I'm going to send him on a run here. Get him behind. Come on. That's against Lenglet. We all know how good Lenglet is. Fake shot. Ball roll. Wait for the perfect pass. Oh my god, an AI block. That's so annoying because Abamyang did so well. Fake shot to the outside. That's nice. That's really nice. Ball roll in. Can I continue? The guy's giving me the ball. And when Abamyang is on the ball and you're going to give him that chance, I was going to say he is going to finish it. But for some reason, this Loris is pulling out wonder saves. So Abamyang once again is six foot two. He's decent at heading. So hopefully he can actually get his head onto this one. Oh my god, the keeper got brought out as well. It was pretty much wide open and I still couldn't get it on target. So it is time to review him. Three games played, five goals. The guy was on fire. He really was. I do feel like he could have got a few more goals if I actually felt comfortable with that weaker foot. But I really didn't. Like, I missed once and then I said to myself... I'll try it probably one more time after that. And if it doesn't, I'll consistently go onto his stronger foot. And then I tried it again and he missed. It's just so annoying to say that a four-star weak foot is not consistent in this game. It's so, so annoying. And it just shows how important five-star weak foot is this year. Now, Aubameyang being six foot two, he definitely did not feel like a six foot two player. We saw some of the dribbling that he actually did. My God was he fast high high work rates 
was interesting to see because I did put stay forward on him and he still came short when I wanted him to come short. So I feel like stay forward, stay forward is definitely the way to go when it comes down to high, high work rates. The four stars kill moves, the lack of Keta, literally spot on. Let's come on now. The lack of Keta this year is once again another amazing skill to get an angle. My favorite bit about him is the lack of Keta into the outside foot shot angle. It is so, so good. Now, with the pace, I would definitely give him a 10 out of 10. The fake shots around the corners are out of this world. They really, really are. And if you want to go, like, over the top, you can, if you want to, give him a Hunter Kem style. Like, if you really want that, pa that pace to really, really show. But trust me, he does not need it. Now, shooting aspect, because he has the two shooting traits, but he doesn't have a five-star weak foot, I feel like, personally... I would be maxed out at 9.5 out of 10, and that's what I'm going to give him. Because he's an outrageous finisher. Finesse shots, outside foot shot trait, power shots, everything pretty, mu pretty much went into the back of the net. But I can't give him that last piece to the puzzle because he has not got a 5-star weak foot. So 9.5 out of 10 for shooting. Passing ability, I will honestly say he wasn't great at doing the overtop through balls. They were very, very inconsistent. But let's all be fair. The person that will be getting over the top two, it will most likely be a Bamiang. So yeah, don't really need the over the top three balls. But when it comes down to short passing, it was consistent. I'll say that with both feet as well. So passing, I would give him, I'll give him a seven out of 10. Now for dribbling, he felt amazing on the ball. Like amazing on the ball. He didn't feel clunky. He didn't, you didn't really see his balance come into play too often. His ball control was kind of questionable at some stages. I feel like when I was holding RT on that first time touch, he took too big of a touch sometimes, but there was other times he had like a really, really good angle touch. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I would say an 8.5 out of 10. But for physicals, I saw that strength. I saw the strength come into play and I was impressed. I really was. He was fighting for the ball and you had to question the 43 aggression. Think to yourself, is it really 43 aggression or is EA lying and all of a sudden in game it's going to be some next level thing? And it was. He fought for the ball. He wanted a ball more than in his opponent and I definitely do not go towards that 43 aggression. Is 80 stamina enough to last throughout the whole 90 minutes? Yes, it is. So physicals, I will give him... It was good, but it wasn't great. So I'm going to give him like a 7 out of 10 as well. But an overall rating out of 10, I can comfortably say he's outrageous. Like outrageous. But he, I don't think he's the best striker in a Prem. I really don't. And if you guys want to know who is the best Premier League striker in FIFA, let me know in the comment section because I will be doing a review on him very, very soon. But an overall rating out of 10, I would honestly say an 8.5 at max. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.